guys what's going on it's US Agent 27 I'm from the MU Collector Club.com forums and I'm back today with another haul video here I'll give you guys a, uh, a look at what I've uh, gotten in over the past couple of days or so uh, first thing I got in is this is actually the Marvel Select Disney Store exclusive uh, Venom and this is not your t this is not the Eddie Brock Venom this is actually the Flash Thompson Venom who is the new Venom in the comics. Uh, so, really, really cool figure. Let me just back up the camera. I don't have a lot today, so this is gonna be kind of a shorter video, which is actually okay, because when I'm done, I'm actually gonna do a review on Venom, as well as one of the other figures I just got. So, really cool figure. Uh, one of our members actually posted in the forums that this guy was available online. Um, so I went on and I was able to get a coupon for free shipping, so I paid 24 bucks for this guy shipped, which was a great deal. Um, incredible, incredible sculpt on the figure, and you know, I hope you guys come back and check out my review of him. I'm gonna go over all his articulation and uh, all his accessories. We're gonna set him aside. So that's Agent Venom. I think that's what they're calling him now. It's Agent Venom. Next thing I got, this was actually from eBay, and I got the Batman Unlimited series, which is kind of taking over like the DC classics. My camera doesn't want to focus. I got the penguin. Very, very cool figure. Um, definitely reminds me of the superpowers penguin I had as a kid. Uh, that's the one that had like the little missile thing firing out of his umbrella. Very, very cool figure. Uh, I'll definitely do a review of him. I'll try to get this posted up tonight too. Uh, my reviews tonight, I'm hoping, are going to be the uh, Agent Venom select figure I just showed you and this guy. Um, I have some more really cool stuff coming in the mail, so definitely stay tuned for that too. But this uh, this guy I got him on eBay. I got him for uh, $14.95, and that was the total cost because uh, the seller charged like eight bucks for shipping, which I'm f I'm fine with paying for shipping. Um, you know, I really don't care as long as I get my stuff. But the seller kind of sat on my package, like in other words, he didn't ship it. Um, for I think five days or something like that and finally it was when I contacted him I'm like listen you know if you don't give me a tracking number on this I'm you know gonna have to let PayPal and eBay know um, and I, before that I had given him opportunities to respond he just never did so he finally responded saying that uh, one of his employees never bothered to ship it and he would ship it out that day um, then he asked if there's anything he could do to you know basically make it up to me and I just said, you know, listen, you know, if you, you want to give me a partial refund of shipping, that's cool. And he just actually refunded the entire shipping cost. So this guy was a total of $14.95, which is below retail. So I'm happy, you know. I mean, I feel bad for the guy, but at the same time, you know, I sell stuff on eBay too sometimes. And you, sh you have to ship it right away. You don't make people wait for their stuff. You know, that's not cool. So anyway, he, this was a good, good, uh, good deal. And speaking of waiting for stuff, this is the last thing I got in today. And if you guys have been watching any of my videos, you know I've been getting into DC, and you know I've really been getting into the Green Lanterns. Well, I did pick up my very last Green Lantern today, which is the Hal Jordan and Evan Soar 2-pack. A um, little bit of background on this. This, is, this actually just came about five minutes ago, and right now and it, you know, it's about 8 o'clock Eastern Standard Time where I'm located. So UPS was very, very late getting this to me. Um, really cool two pack. I dig it. Um, not a big fan of the costume that they have both of them in, but you know what? It works. You know these were classic characters from like the '60s. Um, I definitely will, you know, definitely pose these guys with my Green Lanterns. I haven't decided what I'm gonna do with the Hal Jordan yet because I do have a Hal Jordan. I've got the uh, Wave 20 metallic costume Hal Jordan. Um, I may throw him in with my 52 uh, superheroes or 52 Justice League. And put this guy with my Green Lanterns for now until I can pick up another one. Um, I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do. You know, the costume's not bad. It's it's just different. It doesn't have the green on the shoulders. It, it's got the, the black shoulders in it, kind of like a unitard type of thing going on. Um, 
same head as I think the Wave 3 Green Lantern, which is not bad. Um, and then Avansor is, he looks like he's got the Lex Luthor head that's just been repainted, which I'm fine with. I mean, it looks like the character I remember from the comic books. On mine, the emblem is a little off-center. Off what I might do is I might pop the head off of him and put it on this body because this one's got the better emblem and then figure out what I'm going to do with that one because they are the same body. But And it came complete in package. I got this for uh, $12.99 shipped. Amazon. Amazon is a great place to go for DC UC figures on the cheap. You know, I found a lot of great deals on Amazon for this stuff. So uh, really cool. I'm glad to have it. This completes my Green Lanterns. The only one I'm missing is the Sinestro from the... Uh, that five pack I, I don't know I I'm debating now because I'm so close to having every single one why not just pick that one up too so I may just pick him up um, my local hotspot actually has them for like 12 bucks which is about what I would pay on eBay give or take so I might I might just go do that and if I do that maybe I'll um, put Sinestro's head on this guy to put his head on the Sinestro body because that way then Sinestro and Abensor will kind of match I don't know that's an idea what do you guys think um, all right, that's it for the haul video. Uh, do you want to take a couple minutes and just talk about the uh, mucollectorclub.com? So please stick around for just a minute. If you guys haven't checked this out, make sure you guys come take a look. You know, I, I really, I know I say it in every single video. I know you guys are probably tired of hearing me say it, but it really is a cool place to hang out with people that have the same interests that you do. Um, it's a great place to meet fellow collectors and meet, you know, fellow people who enjoy talking about toys, enjoy taking pictures of toys, enjoy uh, articulated comic book art. Um, enjoy, you know, helping other people out in the commu in our community, um, and we're very, very welcoming. Every new member that comes in, we always welcome them. You know, we, we we have a section on the website dedicated for new members where they can stop by and introduce themselves. And you know, a lot of us that have been on the site for a long time, we'll go in there on a daily basis and we'll say hello to everybody that goes in there. Um, we have a couple cool things that are coming up this weekend. We're doing our first. Uh, theme um, appreciation picture 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 thread which basically what that means is we I picked uh, the Secret Wars uh, Marvel Secret Wars and you can post pictures of Marvel Legends Marvel Universe Mini Mates Hot Toys any figure line that'll, that'll work as long as it's got something to do with Secret Wars now it could be a recreation of one of the scenes from Secret Wars or it could just be a couple of the characters posed in a really cool epic pose that, you know that were in Secret Wars that's fine whatever you guys want to do is fine um, if this works out well I think the next weekend we'll do one maybe for X-Men and also don't forget we have our uh, Dio building contest that's coming up too and there's some really cool prizes there's a build a figure sentinel that we're gonna be giving away a um, bunch of stuff so make sure you guys come check us out at mucollectorclub.com uh, the link will be in the show notes and also real quick I do want to give a, uh, a shout out if you will to um, Tom's Toy Chest. Tom's Toy Chest, he also does reviews. He does reviews of uh, NECA stuff and I think Star Wars stuff and some other stuff too. Um, really cool guy. He just did a review of the Big Red Predator and the uh, Falconer Predator from NECA. That's the uh, half cloak version. So if you guys haven't checked those out, you know, go check out his reviews too. See what he's all about. Uh, give him a sub, you know, uh, leave him a comment, give him a like, that, all that fun stuff. Alright guys, that's it. Uh, the link for his, his channel will be in my show notes too. Hope you guys enjoyed it and stick around for the next reviews.